Here's our little study on transportation. Any little boy would definitely enjoy this, this one. Anyway, I go through all my books and I find anything that's related to transportation. We have one on giant machines, on trains, machines and all sorts of cars, tough trucks. Anyway, I'm sure you own a few books of these, like these, if you have a little boy. Then we go through all our cars and we find a different one of each, each different type of transportation, as many as we have. So we have a cement mixer, a garbage truck, a train, a jeep, pickup truck, a car, an airplane, a race car, a little trailer. When we talk about these, I ask him, hmm, what if you're in a situation like this? What kind of vehicle would you use? And then he sorts of... He looks through all of them and he picks them out. He loves this game. And he can go on and on for hours. Anyway, then I have a little folder where I keep everything that he works on, that he does, all about transportation. Then he can go back to it. I found a few um, worksheets online where I have a little workbook, social studies workbook. And what I do is any page that I feel he would enjoy over again rather than him just gluing them out. I glue them onto a nice color paper. I cut them out. For example here he has to look at the pictures below what makes each one of them move. And then instead of um, making a drawing a line from one to the other, I cut these out and I plastify them and he can play with this as many times as he likes. So he has to put on top the sail makes the sailboat move. Then the propeller makes the airplane move. He puts it on top. The oars help the rowboat to move. The engine or the motor of the car helps makes the car move. And on you go. The horse pulls the sleigh. And this is for the bicycle. Anyway, so he plays with this one. We have this one. There was another workbook page that I turned into a little game. Once again, we put on a piece of paper and I glued parts of them. And he has to find where, what kind of transportation do you use in these different places? Or where do the places use which transport, form of transport? So let's see, the desert. Hmm. Let's look at the water, a sailboat. For example, the train goes on the train track. So you put the track right there. Here's the road, the street. That's for the car. The snow, you use a sleigh on the snow. There's a little dirt road, a little path. That's probably the bicycle. And an old little car. Is that it? Something like that. <laughs> anyway, so he can play this game on and on as many times as he likes. Here is a, just a blue sheet of paper that I... And he gets to say a story about all the different types of airplanes and rockets and what goes up in the air. And here are some of the worksheets that he got to do. And anyway, and some more that he needs to do. But I find that it helps to have everything in one nice little folder. You can go back to it, review what he's done. Because it's a topic that he really enjoys, he will enjoy going back to it. Here's, a page. Here's just a page, not again from a workbook of a little town, little city, and he has to find where all these little pieces of paper go. Rather than drawing a line, I cut them out and he can put them on top. For example, right here, he has to match. Okay, where's the hospital? There's the hospital sign. And on it goes. So there's our little transportation class. You can turn, it shows you can turn any little game, toys, things your child is into, into a little lesson and something to learn.